So as much as we have a very big vision and we're very serious about it, we're also very playful. And we tend to believe that we're kids ourselves. We're children inside and out. We don't necessarily think of challenges and obstacles as deal breakers. We're not necessarily scared about the unknown. We're not necessarily scared about failing. And that's what children are about. I'm Yasmin Hillel from Egypt. I'm the founder and executive director of Educate Me Foundation. It was a very random day. I was on the street, on one of the streets in Cairo, and I was approached by a man who asked me for money because he wanted to send his three daughters to school. And he needed almost eight dollars per child. For me, this was this was a very big slap on the face. I was like. Oh my God, this kind of, this amount of money actually is the cost of something. Uh, and in my mind, it was just a meal. I took him to the school the next week to make sure that he's telling the truth. And he was. Uh, so I said, you know what, okay, I'm going to sponsor your daughters. And instead of feeling great about myself, I actually felt even worse. Uh, and it was basically because that's someone I, I probably encounter every day and I just had, have no idea what he's been going through. And at the time, I was a full-time engineer in a multinational. I was a full-time professional basketball player. So going back home, I said, um, you know what? There's probably many more people like this guy who have the same need. So how about trying to find more people like him who have that need and trying to find more people like me who can afford this very little amount of money? I had no expectation or no vision of this becoming bigger. I had no time. I had no resources. But I just, I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna try. I fear that this may probably work. What we try to address as Educate Me is particularly the, the element of potential, and it's particularly the element of self-actualization. Education is not just about reading and writing but it's about getting people to be accountable for their self-actualization. Getting people to, to be constantly thinking about who they are, what they want, what are the resources around them. And being conscious about the decisions they make and how to use these decisions to maximize their potential and that of others. So self-actualization is important for the world's potential, not just for Egypt, but everywhere. And if we speak about Egypt, there's even a further challenge to education here, uh, which is quality, even on the very basic level, and that's not even there. We are in a neighborhood that is very under-resourced. There is zero infrastructure there. No water, no sewage, no electricity, no roads. And all the efforts that are there are either by NGOs or by people from the community itself. So from a health and safety perspective, this is really lacking. The schools that are in the neighborhood themselves are very populated with kids. So some classrooms have up to 100 and 120 kids per classroom for one teacher. So eventually there is no actual learning that happens. Some kids who've been going to school for years and years and years are illiterate. Very few of them go to college. So we currently have 30 paid staff, almost half of which are from the local community, from Talbeya. Sometimes we just get so caught up in the challenges or so, up, so caught up in the back office work and the papers and the organization and all that. And we just tend to forget what we're doing this for. Just going there, meeting the kids, seeing them happy, 
seeing them spontaneous, feeling that they're up to something. For us, that's just what makes it worthwhile. I got accepted in GSMP and I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this and I wasn't sure if it was worth it. And because this was particularly focused on sports and I knew that when I quit basketball I wanted to go back somehow um, and I knew that I, I just deep down inside of me I've been just silencing the whole sports voice so I said you know what I'm just gonna go. I'm so happy and grateful that I went. We have one of our sports programs that is a football program for boys and it blends in sports with values. One of the values that they were learning was about respect and respect for women. Our basketball coach organized a game between our male students and a female soccer team. They went into a game with them, they played against the, uh, the women who were much older than them they won at the end, but then they, uh, they had a lot of respect for them. And they got to understand that stereotypes are things that we create, uh, and there are things that we have in our heads. And if stereotypes are to be broken, then we have to do that. I never dreamed of this getting that big. I never thought it would be. And, and I never thought I would also grow with it the, as much as I did. I never thought more people would be excited and, and committed to actually do something about it. And I think that this is a big part of why I'm grateful. What I want for the kids who are four and five years inside of Educate Me Now, I want them to feel that they have a say in their future, that they have an influence over where they go, uh, an influence over where their kids would go. And just to put it simply, uh, to feel that they are inside of a place that they belong to.